What's up guys, it's your boy AC here. I'm just doing a reflecting video on something important that's happening today. So today marks one year since I dropped my first project, Rehabilitation, available on all streaming platforms. You can hit the drop down menu on this video, click on the link where you get your music at, check my EP out. You know, listen to it, stream it, like, and share it to all your friends and family. <laughs> And anybody who listens to, you know. Um, I wanted to talk about like mindset wise, uh, put together this EP. I was excited, I was happy, but I was also a little bit nervous because you know, as the day was approaching, I wanted to make sure that everything was on point from the songs to the videos to just the rollout of the whole project and stuff like that. And I was constantly in my head asking myself like, Yo, people gonna like this, you know, if people gonna rock with me, is the are people gonna feel the impact for each of these songs when they hear me back or spit and stuff like that. And you know, you kinda set a bar for yourself and you set that standard that you want people to see you as, especially for a first project. So, you know, I was very particular very detailed about how I want this project to be out and I was just careful about putting it out, you know? Um, I was with my boy Rick Balls, you know, just got finished recording Live Life. I was going to record a few other songs with him until the pandemic happened and that kind of presented a challenge for myself because I'm just like, okay, how, where do I go from here and stuff like that. And I already been working on these songs for like two and a half years and I gave myself that time frame because you know I wanted to make sure I had enough time when producing the beats like I was producing beats back in 2017 to like 2020 I made my own beats and I wanted to see how they would turn out if they was good enough or not and let's just say I'm glad that I didn't use any of those beats that I made because I don't think the impact would have been the same had I used those beats. And, you know, it was just about like, at this point, you know, with the pandemic, it really gave me time to sit down, hash out some of these ideas, work on some of these lyrics, you know, find beats that would fit these lyrics. And hopefully, you know, people understood it and see where these songs are gonna go and see that I'm speaking from my heart. So, you know, you got songs like Welcome to Rehabilitation, Live Life, Redo, and then you got songs like Real Man that talks about manhood and toxic masculinity, and that doesn't get a talked a lot as often by artists, especially male artists, and if they do talk about it, it's not as popular for whatever reason, you know? And for me as an artist, I wanted to set that standard to be different by talking about things that don't necessarily get talked about because, you know, I'm still developing into this man myself and I'm just like, you know, we have to talk about, you know, what it is to be a man and we have to talk about some of the stuff that's holding us back as men. You know, and that's also just a journey that I've been going through and just trying to like figure out how do I go about being a real man and you know dealing with manhood you know what I mean uh, another challenge for this project was I was going through some personal things before the pandemic uh, I would be remiss to say that in a few days uh, it'll be two years since the passing of my dad and strangely enough it was due to his death that kind of helped me finish this EP and I didn't want it to be like that like you know I wanted to avoid talking about my dad on this project and his death the aftermath behind that just mentally and psychologically and stuff like that but then I've seen in talking about those things like talking about his death and talking about what I went through after that you know people saw the rawness and the vulnerability in some of those songs like Train the Dog and Rehabilitation that those are some songs, some favorite songs by some people and I'm kind of glad that I put that out because I kind of got out like how I felt and just kind of got out like while I was going through and stuff like that you know I didn't get everything that's out yet um, 
you know, I might do that for a future poem or a future song, or however that works. But, you know, I think for me to really tell my story, like, yo, I went through from dealing with school, dealing with, you know, being rejected by women, and then dealing with the death of my dad, and just dealing with my psyche and all of that at one. Um, I'm just glad that people kind of like saw that and they kind of enjoyed it, you know. Um, I definitely got responses for songs like Rehabilitation and Train of Thought. So that's what I'm saying. Like, wow, I didn't want to put those songs out. I'm glad that I put those songs out. And all in all, Rehabilitation is not a perfect project. I know there'll be some people who'll be like, eh. This ain't your best project or is what it is or they might not like it. They might trash you as an artist because there's been some people that try to do that. But now I'm just like, yo, you gotta start somewhere and even your favorite artist, the first project that they put out wasn't exactly flawless either. So, you know, I think that's the beauty of rehabilitation. That that what makes rehabilitation so beautiful because it's not perfect, it's raw. It could be gritty. It's showing you flaws that you know that we all go through on an everyday basis. And rehabilitation have shown me that I have the potential to do this rap thing. And it helped me experiment, you know, my songs, who I'm gonna be as an artist and stuff like that. And you know, it helped me challenge and try new things and you know new things that you're gonna see in my next newer songs that's enough for my reflecting on this video or um, doing my EP and stuff like that I hope you guys enjoy it I hope it gives you inspiration to stream this EP and I'll see you guys around